Hello everybody, in this video we will learn how to create a motion blur image in frequency domain using Python. What is the motion blur image? Motion blur image usually occur when we take a picture using a camera, but we cannot hold still our camera. Thus we get a blur image as shown in this slide. In digital image processing, we can artificially create a motion blur image. In spatial domain, we create a motion blur image by a convolution operation. We convolve the motion filter H with our image F to get the motion blur image G. In frequency domain, we create a motion blur image G by multiplying our image in frequency domain F with motion blur function H. The motion blur function H is shown here. The important parameter here is the exposure duration T and the planar motion A and B. The exposure duration will make our image look darker or brighter. And the planar motion control the magnitude of the motion. The larger the value, the more blur image we get. In this video, we will use these two equations to artificially create a motion blur image. Here I show to you the step by step of creating a motion blur image. First, we open or import our image F. We import our image F as a grayscale image. Next, we apply a fast Fourier transform to create an image F in frequency domain. Following the motion blur function, we create the motion blur function H. Then, we multiply our image F with motion blur function H and we get the blur image in frequency domain. By applying an inverse Fourier transform, we get our blur image G. Alright, let us now jump to Spider IDE and do all of this process using Python. This is the spider IDE. Let us first import the libraries. We import the original image using the OpenCV IMRID function. We import our image as a grayscale image and name it as a variable f. Here I normalize the image f by dividing with maximum value. We use the numpy function np.fft.fft2 to transform our image from special domain to frequency domain. And you guys can use the plt.imshow function from matplotlib to display the image in frequency domain. Alright, so this is our image in frequency domain and we call this image as a variable f or the capital letter f. Next, we create the motion blur function in frequency domain. There are few steps here. First, we create a matrix H using numpy function np.0. The size of this matrix H is m by n, which is the same as the size of variable f or our image in frequency domain. The matrix H will be our motion blur function. Next, we determine the motion blur function parameters. T is the exposure duration, and A and B is the motion planar parameters. If we set the parameter t larger than 1, the blur image will look brighter than the original image. And if we set the parameter t less than 1, the blur image will look darker than the original image. The parameter a and b control the motion blur magnitude. Here I input a as 0 and b as 0 0.05. This setup will give us a motion blur image only in horizontal direction. We will see this result in a minute. Next, we fill the value in matrix H using for loop following the motion blur function equation as shown in the presentation slide. As we can see here, the for loop start from 1 up to m plus 1 and n plus 1. This is because we want to avoid the zero division in this process. That is why the matrix H here, when we created using the numpy.zeros function, we add one more row and one more column. Let's rerun this code and preview the matrix H. As we can see here, the value in the first row and the first column is zero. We don't need the first row and the first column. Thus, using the array slicing here, we remove this the first row and the first column. Let's we reopen this matrix H. All right, so this is our motion blur function or the matrix H. Finally, we create the blur image by multiplying our image in frequency domain with our motion blur function. And if you want to preview the blur image in frequency domain, we can use the matplotlib imshow function. 
So this is our blur image in a frequency domain. We use the numpy.fft.iFFT or the inverse Fourier transform to transform our blur image from the frequency domain into a spatial domain. And this line 55 here is an optional. If you want to save your blur image using the opencv.imwrite function, you should convert the data type of our blur image from float, yes, from array of float 64 to unsigned integer 8. And you can do that using the function img underscore s underscore u byte from uh, sk image uh, library. As we run this line 55, now our blur image g is in unsigned integer 8. Next, we display the final result using the opencv.imshow function. Alright, so this is our original image and this one is our blur image. As you can see here, our blur image is due to the motion in the horizontal direction. Okay, let us now change the parameter A as 0 0.05 and parameter B as a 0. And let's rerun, rerun all of this code. Alright, so this is now our blur image. As you can see here, the this image, the, the blur, is due to the motion in the vertical direction. Okay, next we can try to change the parameter T. Let's we say like a 0 0.5 using this function we will get the blur image which is looks darker than the original image this is our original image and this one is a blur image as you can see here the blur image is darker than the original image all right so that's all from this uh, video i hope you learned something useful and if you want to download uh, this Python code, I upload this Python code in my GitHub repository. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.